our first race on this Saturday, May 17th card. Approaching top of the stretch, Lucky Alberta, Lonnie Stokes, Fun Diana, the first time starter from post two. And Todd Trites, Camco Miranda, making her first start. And she scores three. I'm the big dog and Sam Hodgen. And color me gone, John Davidson. Rachel down, Steve Mason, Ari's Eliza on the outside for Mark Hag. Field of seven, and here they come. Camco Miranda off stride before the start. Off and pacing, and as expected, Lucky Alberta looking for a strong start. Color Me Gone from the outside, kicking into gear. On the outside, gets to second. Then on the inside, taking over second is Fun Day Anna's. Davidson backs off for cover, and now sits third. Then I'm the big dog. Got away racing in fourth. Then it's back to Rachel down in fifth. Our ease Eliza, and after the break, Camco Miranda can see them all up top and cutting it. It's Lucky Alberta and Lonnie Stokes. Takes them there, 29 and 2 past that opening quarter. And up front, Lucky Alberta, Fun Day Anna. Two lengths away in a second. Then racing third at the cones. It's Color Me Gone. I'm the big dog. Still sits in fourth. Then racing fifth, Rachel down. Sixth on the inside is our Ease Eliza. And Cam Comaranda trails through the stretch to the half. And they're still, still in single file order here. And your leader up top, Lucky Alberta. And a bit tight quarters there coming to the half. And Fundiana had to pull the plug. The half 102 and 1 around the turn they go. Lucky Alberta moves out again. Then Fundiana made that move from second. Then up the inside. Racing third. Color me gone. I'm the big dog. Back and forth. Rachel down fifth. Then our ease Eliza Camco Miranda on to the three quarters. And the little filly digging in. Funday and on the outside has grabbed the lead and takes it from Lucky Alberta. Then Color Me Gone third, third, or by the three quarters, 132 and one as they round the turn. And looking good for her first start. Fun Diana made that first stop move, and she's got the lead and eighth to go. Then on the outside, Color Me Gone is coming on. Lucky Alberta right there. Rachel down, tips out three wide late down the lane, and it's all Fun Diana. And she gets the pat in the back here from Trites. Up for second, Rachel down. And third, Lucky Alberta. And a nice maiden effort for the three year old filly. 202 and 2. Nice trip for this daughter of Western Paradise. And she wins her debut 202 and 2. And back to the winner circle, official winner of race number one, number two, Fun Day Anna. First time starter, a daughter of Western Paradise. Out of the This Camps for You, Mayor Con Mel Cami, owned by the Capital A Investments Limited. Eric Wilson co owns Trains, a filly. And Todd Trites up for the drive, and the filly impressive to say the least. And her debut, a first up effort, and she goes away a winner, 202 and 2. Congratulations. Fun day, Anna looking good in her debut, the mile 202 and 2. Starters for our second race. Moving in behind the gate, Rosalie Sealster has the inside advantage. And driver Sam Hodge in the Maidana scores 2 and Mark Hag, lucky Northern star. She'll try it from post 3 and Joe Barrio. Then from post 4, J.K. Down, Steve Mason. Then from 5, Future Secret. Anna Todd Trites. Then from 6, Consider Me Lucky and Wayne Watson, Tisha's Pit Pony outside. And this afternoon, driven by John Davidson. Seven across the gate here, race two, and here they come. They're off and pacing Lucky Northern Star. She can't bust the gate. She's going to try the lead here. Then on the outside, though, Future Secret getting into it early. And is racing second, backs in behind the leader. Then back in third, my Donna. And then racing in fourth, Rosalie Sealster gapped out. Then it's J.K. down in fifth. Racing six, consider me lucky, Tisha's Pit Pony can see them all as they make their way to the opening quarter. And lucky Northern Star on the lead, Future Secret's going to get a perfect pocket trip here. And she is up tight second, then back in third. 
And racing in third, my Donna. Check this out. Wow, 28 and 1. Lucky Northern Star cruises that opening quarter with Future Secret at her wheel. Racing second, 28 and 1. Then my Donna sits back in a third. Then racing fourth, Rosalie Sealster. JK down on the move and consider me lucky. And a trailing Tisha's Pit Pony again, 28 and 1. We'll check out the half here. 58 and 4. Not much of a breather there. Lucky Northern Star down the choo choo. 58 and 4 half. As they round the turn, she leads Future Secret. What more of a trip could she get? She's got the pocket journey second. My Donna is closing in, racing third. There goes Future Secret. And she pulls the pocket now from second. And going for the lead, Future Secret takes it. Lucky Northern Star, My Donna, JK down. Then consider me lucky. Rosalie Sealster and trailing. Tisha's Pit Pony 1, 29 and 4. Two minute speed here, and Future Secret has taken over. And now moves out by about six and a half, make it seven and more as they come for the final eighth drive. And it's all Future Secret. My Donna has come to second, and the battle right now, third JK down gets there. And consider me lucky now on to fourth, but it's going to be Future Secret and Trites back to back wins and what a year he's having 62 wins on the season of the maritime strikes has now and the mile and another quick trip future secret two minutes flat or best in two years two minutes flat Top of the stretch now for race number three of the day. Wilson's Cam and, El and Sam Hodge and the Elm Grove Bandit and Lonnie Stokes. Jig Time Silencer, John Davidson, J.K. Shadow and Jill Berrio. And your two outside entries are Young Bro Fancy, Todd Trites, All-American Tetra and Mark Haig. A break on Wilson's Cam before the start. Off and pacing, Elm Grove Bandit looking for the lead here. Then on the far outside, Young Bro Fancy. And she's rough as well, and she's off striding on the run here. And looks like the favorite could be out of this one as they hit the backside. Elm Grove Bandit, he scored off the gate well, and he's got the lead. Then racing second is Jig Time Silencer. Back in third, J.K. Shadow. Then racing in fourth, All-American Tetra. Then it's back to Wilson's Cam. He made a break before the start, and Young Bro Fancy made a break after the start, after an opening quarter, another quick one. 28 and 1, Elm Grove Bandit on the front end this time. And he's down there quick. 28 and 1 opener. Then racing second, Jig Time Silencer, JK Shadow is going to make it first up on the outside. Then following cover, Wilson's Cam. He's back into it here. Then All American Tetra and far back, Young Bro Fancy. And 59 and 2, 31. One and one in the second split, Elm Grove Bandit leading. Then Jig Time Silencer second, J.K. Shadow on the outside third, inside fourth. Right there is all American Tetra. Then on the outside, Wilson's Cam. Young Bro Fancy Trails and is pulling up as they make their way to the three quarter pole. Elm Grove Bandit is opening up here, and the little fella is opened up now by five. By the three quarters, check this out. One, 28 and four, and it's Elm Grove Bandit. And J.K. Shadow second. Then back third on the outside comes Wilson's Cam. But it's a race against the clock here. Elm Grove Bandit might have a sub two minute trip here. And he's out on top, J.K. Shadow. Battle right now, third All-American Tetris coming on. But it's Elm Grove Bandit. Just a race against the clock here and in for second. J.K. Shadow, and for third, All-American Tetra. And we've got a sub two-minute mile here. One, 59 and two. Elm Grove Bandit wins the third. One, 59 and two. And back to the winner circle now. Winner race number three in a brand new lifetime mark. Dropping over two seconds 
Off his previous best, it's Elm Grove Bandit, a four-year-old son of force of life. Out of the no nukes mare, let's twist again. Owned by Al McNutt, Cassandra Fram, Earl Fram trains. And Lonnie Stokes in the driver's seat. And again, dropping over two seconds off his previous best ever. He had a mile of 201 and three for a record. He's got a new one now, 159 and two. It's Elm Grove Bandit here in the third. Final chance for a ticket. And a full field of eight rounding in behind the starter. And here's how we score out. I'm a little beauty. Has the inside post, Sam Hodgen. Then from post two, Island Blaze and Lonnie Stokes. Fernhill Treasure scores three and John Davidson. Then from post four, Western Queen, Steve Downey. Then from five, Tobin's Paradise and Jill Berrio. From six, Amon Abraham, Mark Hag outside, Emily J. Down, Steve Mason, and too funny, Todd Trites. Eight across, here they come. They are off and pacing and a good start in here. Busting for the lead. Western Queen Island Blaze on the inside. Then Fern Hill Treasure sandwiched right in the middle of them. And Island Blaze a bit rough and some confusion there as they make their way to the opening eighth. Then taking over Fern Hill Treasure. Then racing second on the outside. Tobin's Paradise. But right there Western Queen. Then on the outside too. Funny getting into it. Island Blaze got away fifth. Again, the inquiry sign is up. Then it's back to I'm a Little Beauty opening quarter 29 and 3. M on Abraham sits early on back in seventh. And Emily J down trails the field, but she's on the move from the back of the pack as they drive to the three eights led by Western or on the inside, Tobin's Paradise. Then racing second, up tight is I'm a, or on the inside. Racing second, Fern Hill Treasure. Then Island Blaze on the move on the outside. Then we get a three wide move coming up on the outside. That is Emily J down. And they were by the half in a minute and four fifths around the turn they go. And it's Tobin's Paradise, Island Blaze, Fern Hill Treasure. And on the far outside, there goes Emily J down, tipping out three wide. And she is going on as they race to the three quarters. And it's still Tobin's Paradise. Had to work to get the lead early, but she's out by two and a half. Then Fern Hill Treasure stalled on the outside. Emily J down, Western Queen for fourth by the three quarters 131 and one around the turn and it's still Tobin's Paradise putting them away here Fern Hill Treasure second outside third Emily J down then Western Queen too funny Island Blaze with an eighth to go and it's all Tobin's Paradise in the home stretch Tobin's Paradise Fern Hill Treasure too funny always gets home strong and she gets up on the outside almost got the deuce and it may have been tight there, but it was all Tobin's Paradise as expected here in the fourth race. And she wins. Time for the mile. 201 and 4. 201 and 4. Tobin's Paradise here in the fourth. Please. We prayed back now. The winner of race number four. Number five, Tobin's Paradise. Three-year-old daughter, Western Paradise, out of the Beastmaster Mare. Country Look, owned by the Ultimate Stable, and Jill Barrio, who co-owns Trains and Drives, a three-year-old filly, and she's two for two on the season, winning this afternoon, 201 and four. Tobin's Paradise, winning in 201 and four. And the stunners lining up now in the fifth race. Just a reminder in Sam Hodgen. Cocan Fame, Eulis Galant, Fastest Can Be, and Mark Hag. Then Cosmic Tross and Charlie Price. Jacob, Lonnie Stokes, my buddy Mark, and Joe Barrio. And a Hugh K. Bluegrass to the outside. John Davidson, seven across the gate, race five of the day. Here they come. They're off, no surprise here. Busting for the lead, Jacob on the far outside. Then fastest can be in along the rail, though just a reminder, and he'll be looking for a good trip here as Jacob sets sail on the lead. Then racing on the inside with him 
is just a reminder and he hasn't let Jacob go yet as they make their way to the opening quarter. Then outside third, Cosmic Dross. Then racing fourth, Cocan Fame Inquiry up again. Fast as can be he is going to take the flow as he sees a park job coming up. Then it's my buddy Mark and trailing the field, Hugh K. Bluegrass, 29 and 3, the opening quarter. Jacob, then on the outside, Cosmic Dross getting lit up here and parked racing second. Just a reminder, third, Cocan Fame is racing fourth. Then on the outside, fastest Cam B is moving, but he's stalled in fifth. Then my buddy Mark and uh, trailing the field, Hugh K. Bluegrass. Jacob takes him halfway home. Cosmic Tross, and what a trip for just a reminder, the half in a minute as they round the turn. And your leader is Jacob, then racing second. They're battling side by side. Just a reminder, back to second. Cosmic Tross outside, then Cocan Fame, fastest Cam B tips out wide, then from the far outside and going on, Hugh K. Bluegrass and my buddy Mark trails the field and who's got the most pace left for this final quarter drive here and they are bunched up big time. Jacob, 132 and one, he still has the lead and is just a reminder, gonna get a shot here and they're tight quarters past the three quarters and you can throw a blanket over this field and the backfield in motion quickly. Jacob, and they're coming three wide at him, though. On the outside, Hugh K. Bluegrass, fast as can be. He is still there. My buddy Mark on the far outside. Just a reminder, is he going to get through? And right down to the wire, Jacob, just a reminder, just couldn't get any racing room. Then fast as can be, and my buddy Mark. And the time for the mile, 2.05 and 1, and Jacob hangs on. Back to the winner circle now. Your unofficial winner, race five, number five, Jacob. Jacob, a six year old son of Blissful Hall out of the Logmare Salt Shaker. All by Kenny Fudge and Dave Mitchell, trained by Travis Fowler, Lonnie Stokes in the seat. It's his eighth win of the season. Jacob, eight for 16, batting 500 this season in the winner circle. Winning half of his starts, he's eight for 16. And this afternoon, 205 and one, Jacob. Scores here in race number five. Still selling up, win, place, and show. Triactor and Quinella in this $1,000 field of pacers behind the gate. And from post one, Heron Bay. The mayor has the inside post. And be looking for a strong start. Mark Hag in the bike. Becoming Jarwa leaves next score. And driver Wayne Hubbard. Then Longworth Legacy. And Jill Barrio, Salzbrook Dandy, and Sam Hodge and Kane rise again, and Wayne Watson, and Real Bond looking to keep his win streak intact. And he's won his first two. Here they come. They are off and pacing, and as expected, Heron Bay. A strong start to the inside, becoming Jarwa. Gets away racing in second around the turn, and the three-year-old Real Bond on the outside, driving on from fourth, and racing fifth. Up the inside is Longworth Legacy. Then it's back to Salzbrook Dandy. He sits in early from six. And a trailing in the backfield. That is Kane Rise again onto the opening quarter. Heron Bay and Real Bond in the two hole as he took back behind the leader. 28 and 3. That opening quarter. It's Heron Bay. Real Bond's going to sit it out in the two hole here. Then becoming Jarwa third. Longworth Legacy is set to make a move, it looks like, from fourth. And Salzbrook Dandy, he's going to move and hoping to grab some cover. And then trailing the field halfway home. Kane rises again, but it's Heron Bay. Real Bond maybe trying an early move here as they approach the half. Heron Bay 
Real Bond's going to make the move now. And they were by the half in a minute and one-fifth, Heron Bay. Then Real Bond on the outside second. And the mare moves out a bit here. Real Bond is stepping with her, though, on the outside. Then Salzbrook Dandy back in third, becoming Jarwa. Then Longworth Legacy Kane rise again onto the three-quarters. Heron Bay and Real Bond. Trite's going to work on the Colt. And the mare's showing her stuff here by the three-quarters. In 133, and it's Heron Bay, 130 and 3, past the three quarters, and she's looking to make the upset here. Real Bond on the outside, racing second, then back in third, Salzbrook Dandy with an eighth of a mile to go, and it's Heron Bay, Real Bond on the outside, coming to her, Heron Bay inside, Real Bond outside, and it's going to be tight, but Real Bond just gets it and survives that scare of his first defeat, and he just gets there at the last moment. Time for the mile, 201 and 2. So he's 3 for 3, real bond. And back with his third driving win in the afternoon. And Real Bond makes his third straight appearance in the winner's circle in 2008. And here at Exhibition Park, he remains undefeated this season. His third in a row. He's a son of real desire out of the Camlock mare. Horn B hired on by the Ultimate Stable, trained by Sifua Malanson. And Todd Trites in the driver's seat. Again, three wins on the afternoon for Todd. And that's 63 on the season for Tritzi in the mile in 201 and 2. 201 and 2 miles. Real Bond gets up to capture this win in the final stride over Heron Bay. Pace for Geldings. And lots of early speed on the inside as Port Hill Digger moving in. To the rail spot, Ross Galbraith driving. Then Victory.com will score next door for Lonnie Stokes. And talk about my boy from post three. And Todd Trites and Shady Martin from four, Jill Berrio. Cocan Rebel, Jerry Gallant from five. Then Falcons Quick, Ed Harvey. Red Boots, John Davidson and Quality of Money. And Wayne Watson. Again, all the early speed, it appears, on the inside post positions here in race seven. See how that plays out. Here they come. They're off and pacing and busting for the lead. Port Hill Digger, he takes it. Then talking about my boy on the outside. Victory.com angles in and gets away racing in a third. Is talking about my boy is taking over second. Then Victory.com sits back in third. Falcons quick get away well. And he sits back in fourth. And Shady Martin from fifth. Cocan Rebel, Red Boots, and trailing the field. Quality of money, Port Hill Digger. And Ross Galbraith, they set up shop on the lead. Then talking about my boy in that pocket trip second. That opening quarter, another quick one today. 28 and 3. Port Hill Digger. Then talking about my boy back third. Victory.com. Falcons quick. Shady Martin gets underway on the outside. Then Cocan Rebel. Then it's back to the two trailers. Red Boots and Quality of Money still trails through the stretch to the half mile point. And up front and cutting it out here. It is Port Hill Digger. Watch for Shady Martin. He's coming. And on the outside. But on the inside, talking about my boy. He is second. The half 59 and two around the turn. And the half 59 and three. Top end cutting at Port Hill Digger. Then on the inside, talking about my boy Shady Martin on the outside and racing third. Then inside, victory.com. And no real estate for him yet to move. Then on the outside, Falcons quick, Cocan Rebel, quality of money. 
and Red Boots trails to the three quarters they go and still leading Port Hill Digger and he took them by that marker talking about my boy on the outside then Shady Martin Victory.com then it's back to Cocan Rebel Falcons quick quality of money with an eighth of a mile to go and they're still battling toe to toe Port Hill Digger watch for Victory.com he's got an inside seam now and he's rushing up the pylons trying to get there but it's talking about my boy winning it over victory.com and then Port Hill Digger over Shady Martin. The mile 203. 203 and 3 here in race 7. It's talking about my boy. Fourth of the day for Trites. And back with his fourth driving win in the afternoon, driver Todd Trites aboard. Number two, talking about my boys, a seven-year-old son of Armbro Emerson of the big towner mayor, Retse Hanover. All by Kevin Brown of St. John. Kevin does the training and Todd Trites in the driver's seat. 64 wins now for Todd Trites on the season. And this afternoon, winning 2-0-3-3, and talking about my boy. And just another day at the office for Tritesy lately. Another four bagger so far. Race eight behind the gate. It's post time. I'd like to congratulate Kelly Barrio, today's winner of our 50-50 draw, $143. Kelly Barrio, the winner of the 50-50 draw. OB Viking has the inside here. Sam Hodgen, Bert and Bert, Wayne Watson, and Rapid Kane, and Todd Trites. Aries, Andrew, Mark Hag, Vic Victor, and Lonnie Stokes. Wild Cherry, Joe Barrio, Pitbull Hanover, and John Davidson, a lot of speed. And Doug Beckwith, eight starters here in race eight. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Quick start, Vic Victor looking for it. OB Viking, though, on the inside has it as they round the first turn. And they're neck and neck for the lead. OB Viking, then Vic Victor. Bert and Bert keeps the hole filled. Back in a third. Then Rapid King get away. Fourth, Wild Cherry. She's on the outside and angling in nicely now to fifth. And we got a battle up front. Back in six on the outside, Pitbull Hanover. Then racing seventh hour, ease Andrew. Lot of speed trails, Vic Victor. And he's tough as nails when he gets the front, but he had to work to get there by that opening quarter. A quick 28 and four. And Vic Victor on the outside takes the lead, and he's drawn clear by two. Now racing second in the pocket journey, OB Viking. Then up on the outside, driving up. Here comes Rapid Kane, and he's up on the outside now to take over third. Bert and Bert fourth. Then Wild Cherry gets in gear and driving up from fifth. Then racing six, Pitbull Hanover. A lot of speed, and Aries Andrew can see them all by the half. In 59 and two around the turn, Vic Victor. Then OB Viking still second. Rapid Kane on the outside, third. Inside racing there, Bert and Bert. Wild Cherry on the outside advancing. And the mare now gets to fourth. Bert and Bert fifth. Then on the outside, Pitbull Hanover. A lot of speed. R. E.'s Andrew just not in it. And he trails past the three quarters. And it's all Vic Victor. The clear one to beat and out by about two and a half. OB Viking looks like the only one with a shot right now on the outside and he's closing in by the three quarters in 129 and three a two minute clip and here comes OB Viking out from second down the lane Vic Victor OB Viking Wild Cherry on the outside coming up late but it's going to be Vic Victor and Stokes picks up another one here in for second OB Viking and then third goes to Wild Cherry So again, Lonnie Stokes finds a winner's circle, and this time it's with Vic Victor. And a big effort for him, parked early on, 28 and 4 opener, and he wins it here, race 8. Vic Victor.
Top of the stretch, Dillinger's Lady and Jill Barrio. Island Pride, Lonnie Stokes. Impish Art, John Davidson, Mr. Varbo, and Wayne Hubbard. So we'll see our stully dance. Rick Armstrong, Tigers Colleen, Wayne Watson, Materialism. Mark Hag and Holiday Moon, Sam Hodgen, here they are. Off and pacing, that's Impish Art stepping out for the early lead up on the inside. That is Dillinger's Lady. Then between horses, Mr. Varbo. Gets away racing in third. We'll see our Dolly Dance. Had the first idea of going off the gate strong, but she's on the outside, parked early on here, and she is fourth. Then racing fifth, Island Pride. Materialism is sitting in sixth. Then Tigress Colleen in seventh, and a trailing the field, Holiday Moon, and up front cutting it, Impish Art. Took them by that opening quarter and even. 30 seconds flat. Dillinger's Lady in the two-hole trip. Then back in third, Mr. Varbo on the outside. Then racing in behind him comes Materialism. We'll see our Dolly dances right there. Then Island Pride, Tigress, Colleen. And a trailing the field off the turn. In the backpack, that is Holiday Moon as they approach the half. Impish Art, then Mr. Varbo on the outside. Hitting hard second on the inside, Dillinger's Lady. The half one, no one and four, Impish Art. Then racing second, Dillinger's Lady, Mr. Varbo on the outside. Then inside right there as well, we'll see our Dolly Dance Materialism. Looks to tip out three wide from fifth. Racing six, Island Pride. Tigress Colleen and trailing Holiday Moon on the move. On to the three quarters, Impish Yard. Another tough front runner when she gets there. And she's on top by a length and a half. Dillinger's Lady second. One, 32 and four past the three quarters. Then Mr. Varbo on the outside. He's still in the hunt. Racing inside, we'll see our Dolly Dance materialism. Then on the outside, Holiday Moon. And she's tipping out three wide. Down the lane they come. Impish Art, they're coming to her though. Up on the inside, watch for Dillinger's Lady. And they're down to the wire. And it is Mr. Varbo getting it on the outside. Then Impish Art and Dillinger's Lady were there. Mile and 204. Mr. Vabo. And back with their third Win of the afternoon, the ultimate stable having a big day here, and they get another one with Mr. Varbo, a nine-year-old son of Bono's Jade out of the seedling Herbert Mare, Let Us Speed, owned by the ultimate stable, and Don Hubbard, Cifua Melanson gets his training, second training victory of the day, and Wayne Hubbard on board for Mr. Varbo as he wins the ninth race, a mile 204, the Pacer Park most of the way here in this ninth race and prevails and wins it the mile again 204 mr varbo here in the ninth how about this our field this afternoon with lifetime earnings of seven hundred thousand dollars these seven pacers and they're behind the gate here in race number 10 what a solid field perfect trick john davidson and i gotta go and mike campbell Dance, Hanover, and Todd Trites. Accelerated Force and Joe Barrio. Then Gordy's Last Call, Lonnie Stokes, Magnetic Banka, Wayne Watson, Aries, Queen Virginia, Steve Mason. Again, over $700,000 in purse money, these seven horses. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Dance, Hanover out for the lead. Perfect trick as well. I got to go. Tucks in. Gordy's last call. Strong off the gate as well. And she's three wide around the turn. Then accelerated force. Got away racing in fifth. And it's back to Magnetic Benka. And trailing the field. Ari's Queen Virginia. Perfect trick. Using the inside post to his full advantage here. And out by a length and a half. I got to go is closing in. Gordy's last call. Getting the park job here. And the mare is parked. Accelerated four sits back in fourth. 28 and three opener. Then it's Dance Hanover racing from fifth. Then Magnetic Banka and R.E.'s Queen Virginia. 
Virginia as they race past the 3 8 pole and led by Perfect Trick on this front end effort. Gordy's last call getting the worst of this one and she is parked big time here. I gotta go on the inside. Then Dance Hanover moves with cover. Accelerated force. Our East Queen Virginia is going to move and Magnetic Banka and they're four in and three out. Past that opening half, 58 and three. Not much of a breather there. 30 seconds in that second split. And up front and cutting it. Perfect trick. I got to go. And what a perfect trip he's had. Dance Hanover on the outside. There goes I got to go. Out from second. Dance Hanover on the outside is driving up third. And the Colt Accelerated Force is making up all kinds of ground. And he's got the inside lane. Past the three quarters. One, 29. Nine and two is a step to the seven eighths pole. Perfect trick. Accelerated force. Now second. I gotta go third. Dance Hanover. Then Magnetic Bank. An eighth of a mile to go. Perfect trick. The one to beat. Perfect trick. Accelerated force. Then I gotta go and dance Hanover. But it's perfect trick. And the three year old cold accelerated force. Not looking out of place at all with these age pacers. And what a mile he went for his first start back of the season. And the time for the mile. 158 and 4. Wow, perfect trick. 158 and 4. Track two seconds off. And back to the winner's circle now. Winner of race 10. Oh, what a performance this afternoon. As mentioned, folks, the track rated about three seconds off at this point due to the inclement weather today. And how about perfect trick? 158 and 4 for the eight year old son of Cam's magic trick out of the happy escort mare. Fancy escort owned and trained by Doug Beck with John Davidson up for the catch drive. And when this veteran gets a front, he is tough to beat, as he showed today. And again, 158 and 4. What a mile over this track. And he wins his second of the season. And the stutters for race 11. Back behind the gate once again. We have no thoughts of our own. Ricky Collins, Freestone Lexi, and John Davidson, Diamond Hard, Wayne Watson, Golden Days, and Mark Hague. Pictonium Best West, Joe Barrio, Ashby Corner, Todd Trites, Rocket Musical, Sam Hodgen, and Dusty Lane Oscar and Lonnie Stokes. Looks like the early speed here in race 11 between horses one and two. We'll see how that plays out here. It's top of the stretch and here they come. They are off and pacing. Good start. No thoughts of her own. And Freestone Lexi gets away racing in second around the turn. Golden Days is wide as well as they race around the turn. And then taking over third on the inside, Diamond Hard. Golden Days on the outside, getting away, racing in fourth. Then Rocket Musical fifth on the outside, Ashby Corner going on. Pick Tony and Bess West, no home for him. And he's going to have to keep going as well. And then trailing the field, Dusty Lane Oscar. By that opening quarter in your leader, up front at 29 and 4 is no thoughts of her own and she's on the front freestone lexis gonna have a perfect trip here in the two hole then on the outside driving up third that is golden days and she's been parked every step so far and still on the outside third ashby corner in the inside fourth pick tony and best west he's been out all the way and he's fifth then on the outside, Dusty Lane Buster is out and moving. Then it's Diamond Hard and Rocket Musical Trails. And they're four in and four out the half, 102. Around the paddock turn, no thoughts of her own. She'll be tough to beat off the front here. Watch for Freestone Lexi, though, has had this perfect pocket trip. Then on the outside, third, Golden Days, Pictonium, Best West has been out all the way, still in contention, and tipping out three wide from fourth. Then Ashby Corner looks for racing room. Outside, Dusty Lane. Oscar is going to try it from off the pace again. Then on the outside, Diamond Hard as they pass the three quarters. And they were there. 
in 134 around the turn no thoughts of her own and Pictoni and Bess West up to match strides with the mare but watch for Freestone Lexi and Davidson looking for back to back wins and she should have the most pace here as she has just moved off the pylon steep stretch Pictoni and Bess West Ashby Corner coming up the inside deep stretch Ashby Corner and Trites gets up to grab his fifth Win of the afternoon, the mile 205 and 2. Ashby Corner takes the inside route for most of the mile, and he gets up the lane to win it and make it a five bagger for Trites. Gelding, he's four by Western Success. Out of the on the road again, Mayor Mood Music. All by Ray Frazier of Moncton, trained and driven by Joe Barrio. And for Pictoni and Bess West, it's his first winning trip of the season. And he certainly went about it the hard way, parked every step of the way. And he returns a winner in the photo finish. And what a close one it was. It appeared Ashby Corner got it on the inside. But when the picture come up, it was Pictoni and Bess West here in the finale.